Forensic scientists, at least we at the Forensic Lab here, like to call ourselves storytellers. We get to go tell a story in court and assist the court in making its decision with respect to understanding the guilt or innocence of, of an alleged perpetrator. In order for forensic science to be objective and robust, it must be based on standards and quality, sound quality. And we here at the St. Lucia Forensic Science Laboratory are committed to this framework of standards and sound quality. And we have demonstrated our commitment to that framework by achieving ISO 17025 accreditation. Our lab's quality assurance journey has been a long one, yet it has been a testament to the dedication of the team of the lab as we have achieved accreditation in 2022. Center of excellence in any laboratory setting, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, a very good um, position to be in. We are at that stage and it, it is really a, an honor to have your laboratory considered as a center of excellence. The capabilities of the St. Lucia Forensic Science Laboratory include analysis in drug chemistry, which includes seized drugs testing. We also do some firearm examination and analysis with serial number restoration. Then we have biological analyses, body fluid identification, also called serology, as well as DNA analysis to identify the contributor of any body fluids or, or cells left on an item of evidence. So with controlled drugs, um, basically in St. Lucia, we see two main types of drugs. We see cannabis and cocaine. However, the unit has the capacity, the capability to analyze all types of controlled substances, including new psychoactive substances known as NPSs. And we do that through instrumental and chemical analysis. With serial number restoration, we have techniques to what we call restore erased serial numbers from vehicles and firearms. Our facility here at the lab includes a vehicle examination bay. This facility did not exist on island and we would have to stand outside in excruciating heat with a Tyvek suit that is absolutely unbreathable um, to be able to process a vehicle for forensic work. So we're really able to conduct a more thorough examination of a motor vehicle so that we can, can collect any forensically significant evidence that again can help to tell that story that we are looking to tell through our analysis. Overall, the work that is being produced now is at a different level than what was done before. So now we've had the opportunity to present the kind of evidence that easily you, you, you might be able to see in, in, in a case um, presented in, in, in the more developed countries. With respect to sexual assaults, we recently revamped our process. The approach is more DNA focused. The kit that is used to collect um, sexual assault evidence allows for us to now process the evidence a lot faster and to put out our results in a more timely manner for prosecution of cases. Training is also very important to us here at the St. Lucia Forensic Science Laboratory. And we recognize that one of the ways in which we can be successful is by helping to train our stakeholders. Those include doctors, nurses, law enforcement officials, the judiciary, lawyers, prosecutors. Knowledge is power, and we understand that the more knowledge we have, the better we are able to tackle those issues that we face um, every day from the scientific aspect or you know, on the scene when we are presented with, with the evidence as it is uh, when we arrive. My team members, as well as myself, are passionate about forensic science. I think every single technical person in the laboratory has a story of why they wanted to become a forensic scientist. One of the main reasons why I became a forensic scientist was to help to restore hope in our justice system in St. Lucia. 
Every day we see our mark, we see how we are able to impact the justice system in St. Lucia. Justice for not only victims, but also persons who are wrongly accused and persons needing that um, scientific support in the court. Our goal is to achieve justice for all.